And when we take a drug case, there are really three uh, most common, most successful defense strategies. One, looking at improper police conduct. Two, uh, showing that there's not sufficient evidence that the drugs were yours. And three, getting you in a, some sort of diversion program. Now, first of all, improper police conduct. It is often a situation where the police did not have probable cause or a search warrant to search you or your car or your home, or maybe they had a defective search warrant. Maybe they used an unreliable informant, or maybe they planted evidence on you. Whenever the police make mistakes or act improperly, it's our job to catch them and use that to your advantage. Secondly, lack of evidence of the drugs were yours. Even if drugs or narcotics were found in your car or your home, it may be that other people use that car. It may be that other people live there. And if the police cannot prove that the drugs were yours, that you knew that they were there and were exercising what the law calls dominion and control over them, then you should not be held liable for any of the charges. Thirdly, diversion. Even if you're charged with a sales-related offense, many times we can convince the prosecutor to reduce the charge to mere simple possession, get you into a diversion program where you do a class, and ultimately keep you out of jail and get the charges dismissed. Between these three strategies, we've had a great deal of success over the years in defending people charged with drug crimes and ultimately getting their charges reduced or dismissed.